Hey, what's up? Jason from Unity3D.College here. Today, I just wanted to go over two of my favorite features from the 2017.NET 4.6 update that's available. These things have been around for c -sharp programmers for a long time. They just made it into Unity relatively recently, and it's still marked experimental. If you do make the switch over to the 4.6 experimental build, though, make sure that you commit your stuff to source control. Have it backed up somewhere. The last time I did it, I lost a bunch of prefab references and had to go in and fix a decent amount of stuff. I don't know if that was just a bug in the version I was using at the time or if it still exists. So just be careful and you know, upgrade your stuff first. But let, let me jump into the these two operators. So the first one is just this uh, string format operator. So if you put a dollar sign before a quotation mark now, you can actually use it as a string dot format but you can put in the object itself instead of putting in like a with the old way you do it like string dot format zero comma and then you'd have this field over here right so you'd be like debug dot log all of this and you know in fact it would look like let me just write the whole thing out or copy paste the whole thing out it's like it looked like this and then we'd have another I'd usually split these out into separate lines because we've got a bunch of parameters in here and you know it's okay you have but you still have to go back and look and see like which index are these in the right order and here it's just a tiny bit easier to read it's like okay I'm looking at this character's game objects name is handling the puck held by changed method and the new held by thing is this and then over here you can see this is where I'm using the other operator that I wanted to talk about. So the other, what this does is if the puck held by is not null, it'll use the game object. And if the game object is not null, it'll use the name. If this is null, what will happen is this will just be blank. So instead of throwing an exception, it'll be blank. And here, since the string, um, isn't going to be null. It's just going to be empty. It would just return back a blank thing if the name was empty, but the name's never going to be empty in this case. But just out of habit, put it there anyway. And you know, the old way to do this would be like in the same old string format. It'd be like um, puck held by equals not equal null or here equals null question mark do blanks and then do puck held by dot game object dot name. So. Here you can see, again, it's just slightly more concise, a little bit easier to read, and I, I love them. These, like I said, two of my favorite features, probably because they're the two that get used the most often. They're easy to use, and you know, just drop them in. There's no real reason not to use them, unless you need backward compatibility with older versions of Unity. So that's all for this. Um, maybe later I'll cover some of the other .NET 4.6 features that are added into Unity like async and await. Um, hope this helps somebody. Don't forget to like and hit subscribe. Talk to you later.